Hey, Tommy, I like this idea, huh? Adirondack chair. Outdoor furniture, you can't go wrong, and a classic design. Yeah, they've been around for a long time, and people have done all kinds of modifications to the plan to build their own, but, you know, I never built one before. So what I did is I actually bought a set of plans. They have templates and everything. Oh, nice. So cardboard templates. I made my own templates from the cardboard templates because after building that one, I realized I'm going to build quite a few more. So why not have a template that I can reuse? So just transfer from the cardboard to the MDF and you're good to go. Exactly. Very nice. All right. And then the material? Just yep. PT? Well, again, this was going to be my first chair, so I figured I'd build it out of PT. I modified the plan slightly. I changed some dimensions. I said, you know what? I'm going to build it out a pressure treated decking. Yep, gotcha. And uh, five quarter material, it's beefy, so I can use this for the frame, the structure, the lath, everything. Looks pretty good as is. Yeah. Uh, that can weather just as uh, PT. Will you put anything on it or leave it natural? No, all pressure treated should have something on it. Eventually it will crack or check out. So you gotta wait about three to six months depending where you are with that chair. And uh, once it starts to dry out, then you want to get a finish on it. Cool, all right, well you got the template. So what do you say we get going? All right, sounds like a plan. <laughs> All right, good. Now those two pieces are actually part of the main frame or the superstructure of this chair. And this is the main template right here. So this rests on the ground and you can see this is where the front leg goes. And here is the back support to hold up the chair itself and the last layer. So the idea of this template is we want to make it uh, so that it's flush with the bottom. To do that, we line it up with a square, all three pieces. Good here. Okay. All right, now we want to make them tight, hold it down so it doesn't move, and I'll put a screw in one of these holes. Okay, get one here. Okay, so now all three pieces are screwed together, and we'll follow that with the bandsaw. All right. So we've made our curved cuts, not touching our template, but cutting as close as we can. This cut right here is a straight cut, and later on we'll rip this piece down on the table saw. Now that you understand the process, we can screw our templates on the rest of the pieces that we need to cut. Now we've cut our curves with our router table and templated. Now we're ready to cut of the pieces that are going to support the back uh, off of the frame and also the back slats. Now if you notice, they're all tapered. These are all tapered cuts. And to do that and cut them on the table saw, I've made a templating jig. And it's nothing but a scrap piece of plywood where I cut some slots in it so I can use this and angle it any way I want. Each one of these is at a different angle. Yep, so now, to make the pieces cut exactly the same, here's my template. So I'm gonna lay it on the tapering jig, bring it over. Got a little stop right here for yep. it to rest into. Make it flush here, and just firm it up a little bit. Slide the top over, so that's flush there. I can get two of these out of this piece, and the way I'm gonna get two of them out of it I have to make this piece longer than I need. So I'll cut this taper, then I'll flip this over and cut another one, and then we'll cut our angles for the length. The next pieces we have to cut are our slats. Okay, with the boards cut the length, we can now cut the slats for the seat. I'm going to soften all the edges with my trim router so they feel nice and smooth. I also want to pre-drill all the holes in my pieces before we assemble for the screws. And while I do that, Kevin, why don't you give everything a light sand? All right, so now we have all of our pieces cut. 
pre-drilled and sanded, so we're ready for assembly. So let's get some of the stuff out of the way. I'm gonna get this stuff, move it on the table, and then we can start. I wanna start with the main frame. Okay, so we need the support legs for that, and this is the part that's gonna go on the back side of the leg, and it's gonna sit under there. And then the leg is gonna come right out in front like that, so we have a sh shelf for it to sit on. Okay, so we'll screw this on here. I wanna center it. I made this one a little bit narrower than the wide piece. And I just wanna use a screw that is long enough to go through the top, but not long enough to go through both pieces. All right, so now we need to do the layout for all of our slats. As you can see, as we lay them out, it starts to take the shape of the curve. All right, so if you notice on this support on the back and the legs on the front, I made these little blocks right here. This one here and the one on the front is to rest the armrest on it to give it some flat surface to screw it on. All right, let's put it on the floor. We have one more piece to put on. And we're gonna put that piece right there, oh, probably down across the back, and that's to keep the boards from twisting. How about an inch from the sides, does that work? All right, centered good. Uh, like Look it. pretty straight up and down. Left and right, good. All right, last screw. All right, there you go. Let's see, we try these things out. All right, let me grab the one I built the other day. Put them together, grab my coffee. Oh, yeah, that is nice, I tell you. Nothing more comfortable than a well-built Adirondack chair. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.